Hey Squiggles, how are you doing? Okay, uh, so I'm feeling mostly better, but I'm gonna give myself an extra day or two to like, you know, fully recover because I've been coughing a lot and my, my throat's still sore, but I... I think I can do most of my voices all right. But yeah. So I don't know what exactly we're doing. We're actually using a new, uh, a new color scheme this time. The mad rush you feel when you get the ping. coughing a little bit, but definitely feeling better than I was before. Also, that room was almost clean. Don't have the funds for a big first right now. It just means you gotta start saving again. You know, I don't know why I always default to uh, alternating the buttons when it's actually faster to hold one and then tap the other one. Oh yeah, I talked about it a couple times in uh, some of my other rando videos, but uh, I finally did the thing I was talking about where I wanted to do a uh, super missile tank. Um. I finally did the thing I wanted to do where I made a uh, an Excel spreadsheet that's got all my times in it and gives me my average time. I think my average time was just slightly over three hours, which I think is uh, partially due to the fact that I have one ridiculously high time on that spreadsheet that's like s almost seven hours because of the uh my first link to the past rando otherwise i think it would be like two and a half if i'm not mistaken link to the past I've made one preemptively for this because it was a lot of grabbing numbers from my videos for the uh, Link to the Past one. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like make a sheet for Super Metroid preemptively. forget about oh wait uh i actually can't do this room right because i need some sort of morph ball bombs to do the room down below kind of surprised that i haven't found power bombs yet usually i find power bombs immediately
There's the power bombs. trick to get the uh the thing in the ceiling early because having supers early is very helpful the uh the under mother brains tube check real quick and then we'll uh head into a brinster more power bombs Really hoping it would be supers, but but yeah, I to uh, look at the uh, the spreadsheet at the end of stream because I think I'm pretty sure that my average time with all of my single player times counted is something along the lines of um, like three hours and two minutes I think shouldn't be you shouldn't arm pump on downward slopes that doesn't it is a tendency to make you lose time because you go airborne for a sec for some reason Jumping too late. There we go. I'm slowly but surely getting the hang of doing mockball. Which is kind of sad considering that mockball is, like, really easy. <laughs> Grapple beam and x ray scope. Both in the same spot. The 
grapple beam kill these instantly? It does, but we've also got a save point right out here we can go to. He says, falling directly past the save point. Actually, wait, I shouldn't be going to this yet. I should go off to the right first for the off chance that I find supers over there. Because I need supers to finish everything down there. I swear, I'm running around like I still have uh, maximum HP from a uh, from last rando. There's an E-Tank. I would like that, please. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is the uh, this is the non-binary colors. Uh, Samus sprite, by the way, man. Hey, Sachi, how are you doing? Ooh, early speed booster. It doesn't really do much for us now, but it could uh, potentially save us some trouble later. It saves us from having to search for it for however long we spend in searching for it. Still no supers, really? Short break from the puppies, bit of pain today. Aww. Where if I find a uh, super missile tank over here for like the fourth time, I'm going to be upset. I do not wish to be down here. the item that's over here, though. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
I will always accept extra E tanks. I still find it funny that, um, I found X ray scope there yesterday. Because it was one of the spots that I found X ray scope in in uh, one of my trial runs of this. And I hate not having supers. Wait, what? Oh, that's what you want me to do, Rando. Cool. Thanks. I hate it. Need to go all the way back to uh, the spot where I picked up Morph Ball. Because those are the only checks that I have left, are the ones that are over there. I think, I think what the seed wants me to do is I think it wants me to, uh, use Shine Sparking to get the, uh, to get the super missile tank that's in the ceiling. I do have at least one check I can do here, though. How do you do diagonal shine sparking? you can do with a uh, speed booster in this game where if you uh charge up a speed booster then crouch then jump you can like rock it off in one direction and you can do it diagonally i just don't know how to do it diagonally Surprised that I'm not dead. It's a feature. No, <sighs> uh, 
I hate this hallway. I think there I think most people who play this game hate this hallway. Can you please shine spark in the correct direction, Samus? It's not that hard. Hey, Paradoxica, how are you doing? Yeah, it definitely wants me to diagonal shine spark, but I don't know how to diagonal shine spark. Because it's not as intuitive as pressing diagonal when you shine spark. Don't worry, Squiggles, we're almost done with Persona. I think we've got, like, th three streams left of it. Maybe four. We've got, like, a month and a half. Like, in-game time before we're done. We're, uh, we're closing in on that ending. Why does that work? Why does walking for a sec and then holding down the charge button make you charge it faster? that to me. There we go. The nice thing is, we can take a shortcut back to the uh, other area. Really? You're not supposed to be alive. Thank you. 
You know, for a second there, I forgot that I had speed booster. Now the fun of trying to do this room without space jump. Activate off of a uh... You know, I believe it I mean like it's it's not like it's unfortunately very common for dev teams to be horribly understaffed. Jesus Christ, how much did that one spike do? That one spike did like over a hundred energy to me. Y'all ready to see me try to climb Red Tower without, uh, Ice Beam or Space Jump. Come on. X was like an entirely outsourced project. Holy shit, first try. I swear that is significantly harder than I made it look by accident. I need to play the uh, the rest of the Prime games. I've only played Prime 1 as of right now. My Chris Grim luck has finally returned. Gosh, I forgot about that. Did we ever figure out what the like what the exact odds of that were? Can you not, please? Yeah. <laughs> 
Allegedly has a 1 in 588 chance of dropping. And I think I rolled the dice on it, like, maybe, like, 25 times. I did not farm a lot of enemies to get that item. Gosh, does Symphony of the Night have, like, a proper randomizer? I would assume yes. But, you know, you never know. Symphony of the Night was a lot of fun. Most people you've talked to had to farm for hours to get one. Doesn't surprise me. Anything interesting over here? Missile tank. Oh, wait, we actually have grapple beam. I was like, wait a sec, we don't have space jump. How are we supposed to do this? We have grapple beam. Looks like it has an update last up or has a rando last update was April last year. Hmm. Um, I don't think I want to, uh, I don't think I want to try fan tune right now. actually gonna go back down red tower because that way we can get to crate really easily you know, absolute mastery of this game or whatever, like, I'm impressed at how, like, fast I'm picking shit up in this game, because, uh, like, Super Metroid's control scheme when I played casually on stream a little while back, like, was very floaty feeling and archaic to my brain. And, like, there are some weird things with it, namely, like, how how water gravity works and uh, how a lot of other weird shit like knockback works. And the fact that turning around while getting hit can send you like drifting off to the side is really weird, but 
I feel like we find a lot of power bomb containers or tanks or whatever they're called. Not going into Meridia because we don't. I definitely do not want to try doing Meridia without gravity suit. Okay, so technically speaking, we. We're not intended to be able to do Kraid, but... You can do this wall jump, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might be something like that, where you kick off the top of this. You can make it without high jump boots, I just don't remember how. Well, that works. This is out of logic, though. Spazer, Spazer is not a great, like, beam upgrade, but it is a beam upgrade. It does more, uh... Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. It's definitely not going to be the next one. on him, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. Technically out of logic, but that logic was super easy to break, so, like, why not, you know?
I don't know why, but I feel like super like I'm 99% sure that that's an E-Tank in vanilla. I might be thinking of uh, Impossible Super Metroid where they put super missiles there. What is it? High jump boots. One missile, or five missiles, I guess. Need that stupid bug to come around here. One check over here. Uh, that's gravity suit, I think. That's either gravity suit or spring ball, I can never remember. Gravity suit, cool. Whoa, that... Took a sec for it to uh, actually register to change my color, but... Got a tickle in my throat. Nah, I'm not gonna go for that. <laughs> as much as I would absolutely love to do that, that, uh, that wall jump sucks. Hey, Ocean, how are you doing? Hey, Ocean, I have a really stupid question for you. How do you shine spark diagonally in this game? Let's start your stream as well. Nice. <laughs> and you just release your spark by pressing the jump button again midair, right? Because whenever I try to do diagonal sparks, it always comes out as a upward spark. Uh, 
Oh, okay, so I need to... So the issue is that I was trying to jump first and then spark diagonally instead of just sparking diagonally off the floor. <sighs> Don't tempt me, game. I hate this check with every fiber of my being. Because I can never line up this stupid shine spark correctly. It's right on this plant. Can you not carry speed booster through doors? store a spark before I go through the door for that check. <laughs> Fucking... <sighs> Why did they have to make this stupid check, like... So precise. It's not pixel perfect, but it's like tile perfect. You have to be perfectly lined up with the one tile that it works on. And I just really want that E tank. check not from my casual playthrough on stream from my original playthrough of super metroid i was tr going through trying to 100 percent it and i saw that missile and i was just like how in the how in the world are you supposed to get this and uh <laughs> I hate- I hate that check with every fiber of my being. Because I tried that- I tried to do the shine spark to get it a lot. Okay, so we want to go down from here for two checks. went down the wrong spot. Oh, 
I did it too slow. Actually, like, I know that gravity jumping is like you turn it off as you as you jump and it allows you to maintain like your initial starting momentum but with the lower gravity of being underwater without gravity suit can you not it's just through this wall can I what is it not through this wall how do you get... Oh, you have to jump, of course. Really? I forgot that I had grapple beam equipped. jump please two e-tanks in the same room really fine then turtle come over here what it is one thing that like still is very frustrating to me about super metroid's control scheme is i don't know what causes you to just randomly cancel spin jumps for no reason Pressed L or R? Really? Pressing L or R cancels you out of spin jumps? Weird. Maybe I just need to, like, take my hands off of the, uh... Like, take my fingers completely off of the L and R buttons whenever I'm doing wall jumps. play Super Metroid, the less I like Meridia. I wonder if that's a common sentiment. Let's 
So going up here doesn't do anything for me. God, I can imagine that room being hell suitless. Honestly, I can imagine 90% of Meridia being hell suitless. I just suck at grapple beam. Did that too late, I guess. Okay, so it's I assume that it's basically that, but I just did it wrong. Like, I did it too late. Or not too late, too early. Maybe I'm just severely overestimating the amount of height that you usually get from it. <laughs> Super Metroid, please cooperate with me. Grapple beam so much. I hate grapple beam because it only has eight directions. I know that you could usually only fire in the, like six directions in this game, but grapple beam having only eight directions is just. Mm. And I understand that it's like with a D-pad, so you know eight directions makes sense. But still, I can spark. Yeah, but I'm also bad at sparking. <laughs> go finally <laughs> Jesus that took so much time and so because I have speed booster I can go and do uh Dragon, right? don't want to deal with that gravity suit room or with the grapple beam room again so uh i'm just gonna go backward from here instead of falling down into the other section I 
I swear, I'm playing so sloppy today. And I don't know why. My brain's just not calibrated for Super Metroid tonight, I guess. very weirdly fond memories of that stupid sand pit there. I say weirdly fond because I, uh, remember getting, uh, like, taking forever to get up to that spot in my casual playthrough, and then just falling into the hole. And being, uh, slightly miffed, but also it was really funny. Honestly, genuinely, you're awake again. Did you fall asleep, Squiggles? Do you feel slightly better rested now? Consequences of having coffee at 9 p.m. Trying to get this last hit on. Oh, cool. My, uh. Wait, what? Oh. I was about to say, I hit him like four times with a normal missile and it didn't count. Am I just screwed? But no, I'm not. Thank you. the item above the sand pit. Uh, that's... I've immediately forgotten what this is. I think this is Varia's suit. No, Varia's suit is the one that looks like an atom. Uh... That's Space Jump, right? Space Jump. Yeah, cool. Wait, do mock droids not drain your health? Do they just drain your ammo? Did I see that correctly or am I going crazy? No, they drain your health. I heard the, uh... I heard the sound effect for it. For the, uh, draining. And I was like, wait, is that draining my ammo? Because I didn't see it damage my health. Oh wait, I have space jump now. I don't have to do stupid wall jump shenanigans. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know, I don't know why, but I always really love the, uh, the fact that you can kill Dragon with Grapple Beam. There's just, there's something very, like, funny about it to me. Dancing, yeah. Take me closer to the, uh... Oh, wow, that's doing a lot of damage, actually. I wasn't expecting Dragon to do that much damage to me, but I'm surprised that uh, me doing the grapple beam thing didn't eat into my reserve tanks. I will gladly take Ice Beam. I don't actually know... Does Ice Beam increase your damage output like the other beams do, or does it just change your beam properties? Also, oh wait, no. I was gonna say, also, I completely forgot if I said hi to Sachi, so I'm gonna say hi to Sachi again. No, I did say hi to Sachi. Sachi was talking about the puppy earlier. You know, I just realized uh, I went the wrong way for the uh, for two of the checks that I wanted to do. Whoops. Because I do still need to find Varia suit. I also really need to uh, not die. Especially since I didn't save after Dragon. Nice and easy health refill. Can I not go back this way? Thank <laughs> you. 
Can I go back through this? Uh, actually, we're good to fall down here. Gosh, you can space jump really fast if you actually start a space jump with, like, decent momentum. Missile tank. Power bombs. Come on. Fine, I'll just do it the other way then. Might as well grab the missile tank while I'm here. What was what, Sachi? Sorry, I missed that message. Can you describe it? Oh, heard mention of the puppy. I was just saying, uh, I was like, I didn't remember if, uh, I said hi to Sachi. But then I was like, oh wait, I did say hi to Sachi because I remember Sachi mentioning the puppy. Can you come back over here, buddy? You break this for me? That's a cool room. It's just a missile. Great. We're gonna go up to probably sunken ship. Actually, no, we basically have to go up to sunken ship now. I wonder what happens if you try to go into sunken ship from the uh, back entrance. 
before defeating Fantoon. Is everything still, like, turned off and you're just kind of screwed? You have to go the long way around? So it looks like Ridley's probably gonna be our go mode boss this time. Like as soon as we kill Ridley, it's just gonna be rushing straight to Mother Brain. Cause I mean, it's not like we can do Ridley before we do Fantoon at this point. That actually felt easier doing the wall jump version that time. Like the wall jump version from earlier. Always forget that sunken ship requires super missiles to open. I come over here and grab this so I don't have to do it later. Vanilla. I'm pretty sure that's a super missile tank in vanilla. Okay, Mr. Fantoon. That Super Metroid of all games has like boss enrage mechanics.
There we go. Granted, we had a suit that time, so that was very easy, but still, first try. Now, the hunt for Varia's suit begins. Or, well, continues in full, I guess. Get pixelated, nerd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think, like, when Samus sees Fantoon, like, do you think that Samus believes in ghosts? Well, there's our Varia suit. couple of extra checks because uh, if we can find more supers, more supers are always nice to have. But otherwise, we're at the point where we could basically rush. But yeah, having like any of the beam upgrades that aren't spacer would be really good. But yeah, ma mostly more super missiles is what I'm looking for currently. tank. I guess we're not going to check the rest of Sunken Ship. We'll check up here, though. Missile tanks, please give me supers. 
hate this room. Uh, over in the background, my PlayStation 5 has decided that it wants to update. Is it just powered on? <laughs> Squiggles. Um, I know that I'm basically wasting time right now, but I, like, desperately want more super missile tanks. Billy Mays room, give me two super missile tanks. Okay, one one is good. I will accept one. So from here, we need to go straight to the left. Go through the secret passage again. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, not. How are you doing? Super tired. Pastry sounds really good right now. Super missiles? Carry pastry. Ball. Mm. High jump boots. why but the thought just occurred to me that like the the energy that's used for your health is supposed to be like samus's power suit energy source but at the same time like thinking about it like that it's like why is why is the uh power suit's first inclination when it runs out of power to just fucking explode Persona Rando. Uh, I think Persona 5 Rando on the P on the PS3 version exists. Man, trying to do this without screw attack kind of sucks. But yeah, like, I don't know, RPG randomizers are always weird for me because they run a very fine line between the possibility of basically just being another vanilla playthrough, essentially, if you go too crazy with the, uh, like, scaling on stats for stuff, or if you don't scale the stats, you end up with it being entirely possible that you get end game equipment right at the start and it just becomes laughably easy by the myriad 
bad truths yet. God, imagine, imagine playing a Persona 5 Royal Randomizer where, uh, where you go through and it's just, um, you just get Izanagi no Okami as your first Persona, it replaces your Arsene. Finally got around to reading the Mementos Mission manga. I have volume one of it, but I don't, I haven't actually started reading it yet. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't give Joker a costume like that in a in P5R. Just because like they did it in P4, and I think they did it in vanilla P3, if I'm not mistaken. Someone's currently making a uh, MC mod for uh, Persona 5 Royal, and it looks really cute. sure as to when I'll be back to doing Persona because like I'm feeling okay currently like I'm definitely feeling better than I was yesterday and I can do a lot of my voices but they come out a little bit weird <laughs> so who knows at this point it's also probably because I didn't clear my throat beforehand but I'm thinking I should probably wait before I continue P3, but I also really want to continue P3, because we're very close to the end. Depressed Yukari voice. dead. Why didn't you grab me? Hey look, another super tank. Thank you, Ridley. I think more than anything, I think I'm, like, mostly better. I think I just need to give myself time to, like, actually, you know, recover. Because, you know, a lot of coffin will shred your throat. I could totally see that, not... Especially, uh, especially Yusuke. These enemies casually taking three fucking power bombs to kill.
Nah, I think... I think Yusuke is, like... I think Yusuke would be oblivious enough to not notice it. Especially considering that Yusuke being oblivious is, like, a primary character trait. Mostly because of Q2. I haven't played Q2 yet. I've played Q1. Q2 because Q1, like, Q1 sucked the life out of me. Like, man, that game was super hard to get through. I didn't hate it, but at the same time, it's one of those things of, like, it felt, it felt like it was a, uh, like, a, it felt like it was 60 hours. Wait, how do I have Ice Wave and Spazer equipped at the same time? Like, even, even with as much as I did enjoy the ideas and concepts in Q, like, man, that game is far more of an Etrian Odyssey game than it is a Persona game. Hell, I don't think I ever would have finished it if I didn't find out about the stupid QR code cheat. Every time I come across one of these walls that I'm supposed to be breaking with screw attack, I'm always scared that power bombs aren't going to actually break it. Just because these are th this is three really easy checks, I'm gonna do this. Just in the off chance that I find more supers. Missile tanks. I guess 50 supers is like a decent amount. I was just hoping to get like 60 ish, because then I could just spam supers at Mother Brain. Missile tank. I wonder how many normal missiles there are in this game. Yeah. 
I swear, I'm gonna have to start, like, prepping multiple ROMs. Like, I'm gonna have to start prepping multiple randos for when I do rando streams. Getting too fast. Quick save at the ship. You know, I'm realizing more and more that I don't really have a frame of reference for what a good time is on Super Metroid Rando. please. I'm glad that the four power bombs, like, works. setting in the randomizer that makes it so you don't have to kill the metroids as you go past. It just sets them as already being dead so you can already go through the doors. Time for a big sip of water here in a moment when we get our cutscene. tried to jump rope it, but I genuinely don't know how. Oh, 
Make a save just in case I end up getting bodied. Oh shit, I died. Jeez, how much health does Mother Brain have? I do get the feeling that I'm gonna need as many missiles as I can carry for this. Especially because I don't have charge beam. I get some missile drops. Okay, uh... 
might need to go get more missiles uh either that or try to fight and charge beam actually i wonder if i can kill these and then leave can i leave the door that i came in through i can Do the doors come back? No, they don't. So what I'm hearing is, uh, blasting through all the doors and then leaving and then coming back to just deal with Mother Brain is a completely valid strategy. And that way we won't start the Mother Brain fight with, uh, Three quarters of our missiles gone thanks to the stupid doors. How did I, like, rocket up to the ceiling with it? What the hell are, like, spring ball jumps? Like, why are they like this? You know, I'm honestly curious if I can take this a step further. Can you stop rocketing me into the air? I would really appreciate it. Apparently just jumping out of the water does that. <laughs> hey Taco, how are you doing? Does this work? Can we break the glass jar and then come back? We can. I'm actually kind of surprised that that works. And I'm gonna start with my normal missiles. Because if I start with my supers, I'm gonna make her mad for quickly.
I don't understand what causes the rainbow beam to just decide not to kill you sometimes. Because it's not supposed to kill you at all. It's supposed to be scripted. my reserve tanks. Fuck off, game. See, sometimes, sometimes Mother Brain has respect for theatrics, and sometimes Mother Brain decides to pull out the shotgun and take you out back. Can you not please game?
do not kill me this time. Okay. So I need to be at above three E-tanks when I get rainbow beamed. You have to be above a certain HP threshold for the rainbow beam to not kill you. I think that's what it is, but I have no idea. It's actually really funny. Uh, the last rando that I did, I didn't save the animals, but I got a almost the same t escape time. <laughs> I must have done my escape really slow last time. Man, that's really sad. That whole mother brain fight I nearly had a sub to our rando on that.
wow. So yeah, uh, I'm definitely realizing more and more that uh, I need to start doing... I need to start doubling up these rando streams, because these rando streams are ending up really short. <laughs> Cram a Super Metroid and a uh, Link to the Past randomizer in. Not the combo randomizer, that comes later. didn't even go and do Krokemeyer. Wait, the screw attack was the missile below ice beam check? Mistaken. Uh, no, that was super out of the way, actually. I thought- I- I was thinking for some reason that Ice Beam was in Brinstar. Ice Beam is in Norfair, but it's, like, way off to the left of Norfair. And we were going all the way down to the right when we went to Norfair, so... It actually makes sense that we didn't get Screw Attack. But yeah, uh, as much as I would love to start another randomizer, that, uh, that mother brain fight took a long time. And I also don't have an extra one prepared, sadly. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed. Um, exclamation point Discord if you want to join the Discord. Exclamation point socials if you want to follow the VODs channel. I play a lot of randomizer. Mostly linked to the past stuff, but I've done... This, this is Super Metroid number three. I've done a Hollow Knight randomizer, two Minish Caps, and two Wind Wakers, I believe. It's been a bit since I've done anything except for Link to the Past and Super Metroid, though. Um... Who is available to raid? You know what time it is. <coughs> so yeah, um... 
I don't know what I'll be streaming tomorrow. It might be more Super Metroid randomizer. It might be a different randomizer. I might be feeling up to going back to Persona 3 Reload tomorrow. Who knows? But we'll figure it out. But yeah. Also, we collected significantly less items this rando than we did before. We got 66 instead of 66% instead of the uh like I think it was 85 for the last rando. But yeah. Uh I guess have a good one and take care.